is it a better place to come to work when you've won a game and when you've played well and, and when you've got what you feel like you deserve? Is, is, is that something that there's a sense of kind of you feel like you've been rewarded when you come back in? Is that me personally or the players? Because I haven't seen the players yet. Uh, we had yesterday off. Uh, I, I just, it was good that they, they eventually got the reward for all their hard work, the players. And I'm really pleased for them for that because you can get a bit of soul destroying when you, you feel as though things are conspiring against you. And a bit of bad luck, a bit of a couple of bad decisions, um, freak happenings. And you can feel as though you, no matter how hard you, you try, Gilbert huh? O'Sullivan, no, no matter how hard it, no matter how hard it, no matter how hard you try, you don't get you don't get the rewards for it, and you have to see a little bit of payback every now and again. And I think we got the payback on Tuesday. How difficult is it to turn one game where you get your reward into a run of games where you get a reward? I'd see the perception in football. Um, you know, people will think you know playing against Port, uh, against their Rotherham. You know, you you should be getting beat because the top of the league. Playing against Oxford, they've been on a great run. Could have gone second the other night. Um, you know, you you should be struggling against them, and then you're playing against the team who are, who are down in the lower reaches of the league. You should be beating them, and it's not the case. Any game you play in this league is difficult. Uh, no matter where they are in the league, uh, everyone's capable of beating each other. I've watched Crew about three or four times this season, and I watched them play unbelievably well against Ipswich at Ipswich. So unlucky to lose the game, uh, and I've seen them play numerous times this season when they've things have conspired against them. So you know, it's going to be a really tough game. On Saturday, and people shouldn't just take for granted that we've had a good win against Oxford. You're just going to beat Crew because that doesn't happen like that. Is what sets the teams at the top apart from the ones who are in the middle and at the bottom that they can do it more than once and get a result and consistently, perhaps even mitigate and, and ameliorate the, the runs where they don't play well? What a word that is, by the way. Ameliorate. That is definitely going in my. Active vocabulary now. What does it mean? Uh, kind of improve upon. Oh, yes. Or uh, minimise the impact of it. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, <sighs> we, we look at uh, we've just, we, we had a little bit of a quiz in the car, me, John, and Jed, um, about who'd done what this season, you know, in the league because I had the stats up and the top teams have big goal differences so they keep them at one end and they score to the end that's that's the secret to being successful and if you do that you win games and you don't lose many and that's why the top teams do it and we had that horrific spell probably end of September to end of November where you know we had a we were leaking goals like a sieve and I was banging the drum saying well we're not actually defending that badly you've got to cut them out the top teams don't do that and that's why they're the top teams and if we're going to aspire to be a top team we have to stop them going out going uh, in one end and the other the other ends we've had the third most shots in the league um, so that says that we, we have got third most shots on target in the league. So that's saying that we, we are going in the, the right direction that way. And we have tightened up over the last six weeks, so, or last eight weeks. So we're still a work in progress for me. And I know you don't want to be like that in February, but that's just be, been the nature of the beast. Uh, and I'd love to get on a run. I, I, I know we're capable of getting on a run. But I know any team in this league is capable of getting one. As far as stats are concerned, I think you're seventh or eighth for your home form in the league. Your away form is down 18th, 19th. I think you've won three away games in the league. We always talk about home form being important. Is that kind of a worked example of why it's so important that you're in the league position that you're in by virtue of being good at home? Um, 
you've you've got to expect to to take points at home. I know it changed with the lockdown, and I, I think it flipped at one stage. People were taking more away from home at home. But you've got to you know you know the surroundings. You know the fans get behind you. Our fans are unbelievable. Home and away, to be honest. But our fans are unbelievable. Here. They don't they don't have to give the players a lift. And it's them nights when the other nights, for example, you know, not, not a great deal here, you know, but they carry it, they carry it over, the, over the line. You know, our fans never stop singing from the first minute to the last on Saturday, on air Tuesday. And you've got to, you've got to press on that advantage because you know the surroundings, you know the pitch plays, which is a, a big help. Uh, our pitch, as you can see, is getting better and better. So. And we do like to play. Um, we've got big lads and all of a sudden now people, every other club and everyone in the league is laying us as a big physical team. And you, you see us play every week, so we're not like that. But we have got that thing to our bow that we can compete, which possibly let us down in the past. And I remember playing Barnsley here a couple of years ago and I was amazed at how physically superior they were to us. Uh, and he bullies us and from then on in I thought well we've got to add we've got to try and get the balance right and I think we're, we're slowly getting the balance right Is that something that you've learned then? It's not a conscious decision to be more physical or more direct it's to have players who can hold their own in that area Well you're always learning you know anyone who thinks they've cracked this game or completed it a mad um, and We've, we've tried to develop ourselves as a team and a club, to be fair, but as a team over the years to compete in whatever league we're in. Uh, I think people will openly agree now that we do compete in this league. It doesn't always work, don't always win games, but we do compete. You know, and I know we had them a couple of really bad results, you know, culminating in the, the, the Burton one. But in, in, in the main, we, we're always in games. Um, we've got to, got to try and carry it on to the end of the season. The good thing is, it gives you the platform to build for next season as well. If we can get, get them magical 50 points or 52 points, which gets us safe, then we can start looking for the plan for next year as well. Is that a get that target sooner rather than later and then think about next year oh, kind 100%, of thing? Oh, 100%, 100%. And the quicker you get that, the, the more then you can, you can dream and you can have a go the other way. But it's hard. It's hard getting points on the board. You know, that was well, probably our first win in seven times of asking. Played, played all right in them other six games. We've just not won them. Winning games in, in any level of football is hard. But probably League One is... I'd have to say it's the most condensed league. Uh, you know, with a lot of teams not much difference in the in the ability not the ability in the strength of them um, whereas you know you've got the the three mini sub leagues in the premiership you've got like a half and half in the championship uh, you've got similar things in league two uh, you know you've got the conference you've got probably the six elite clubs in the conference but ours the, you know it goes down to about 14 teams 15 16 teams who can generally threaten, well even more, we could threaten for them players and then he seems capable of getting on a good run so I'm not just saying it because I'm in that league but it does feel as though it's the toughest league. As far as crew are concerned, obviously struggling down there towards the bottom end of the table, you beat them away from home, you've got a chance to do the double over them, is that an indicator if you can do that a lot in the season that you've had a good season? Uh, I don't know if it's on the double over anyone of them. Um, no, we haven't. It's just, it doesn't matter that we beat them away. And it doesn't matter that we did do the double over them. You just want to try and pick up the points. This is an opportunity to pick up points, and that's all as it is. It's an opportunity. Uh, and it's an opportunity for them to pick up points. You know, they'll, they'll see it as, a, as a, a way that they can start climbing the table. I was here a couple of years ago in the FA Cup when they played us off the park. So, 
we're not getting ahead of ourselves in any way, shape or form. We know the, the threats that they'll pose. Uh, you know, we, I have seen them a lot and we do our, do our due diligence. It's going to be a really tough game. And I know I'm trotting out manager speak now. And, you know, you know I'm not like that. It's just, that's the way it is. Um, it is going to be a tough game. And in this, in this league, until you get there, you're not, you're not there, you know, you're not safe. And, you know, I, I speak to other people, other people in the game, and other people out of the game, and they go, oh, don't be daft. Nothing's, nothing's sorted here until it's sorted, and you, as, as quickly as you can get on a good one, you can get on a bad one. And when you get into a slump, it's difficult to arrest that. So we're always fighting, we're always trying to keep our heads above water, and, you know, hopefully get out the water. Have you got any news on John O'Sullivan? I know that was a, a concern the other night. Yeah, it was one of them. He'd done it the week before, he, he tweaked it the week before. You know John always dead keen to play. We, we, we changed it down on, on Saturday, so he was the obvious one to go out because he wasn't perhaps 100%. I wanted to get his energy and his pressing because we wanted to play a high pressing game against Oxford. And he showed down the by the time he was on the pitch, I thought it was terrific. Uh, and he was just feeling it, he was feeling half time and possibly that was the time to take him off. And he wanted to carry on and you know we'll have to see the extent. I hope it's not too sure. But he's likely to be ruled out for a little while. I think he'll be out for Saturday, I don't know how long. Okay. And a bit of illness in the camp ruled one or two out the other night. Is that something that's likely to have abated by the weekend or is it too soon to tell? Yeah, just just soon to tell. We, we, we're waiting to see him. 